Before watching this video, it's important that you have a good understanding of how auto messages work and how they're built. If you don't know how they work or are still unsure about how they're built, check out our other videos before watching this one. One of the most important goals of any company these days is to onboard new signups. We want to bring our users from complete newbie to a user who understands and has used the basic features of our product, ultimately setting them up for long-term success. Today, I'm going to bring you through building an onboarding campaign with Intercom Engage. But before we jump into Engage, let's take a look at our demo website to get some context on what we actually want to do. This test website has two main features that we want users to use, which is to create a project and then add a collaborator to that project. So we would consider a user successfully onboarded if they've used both of these features. And on top of that, we'd also want them to have read our beginner's guide. So with Engage, we'll encourage our users with multiple auto messages to A, read our beginner's guide, B, create a project, and C, add a collaborator to that project. Okay, so let's jump into Engage and start building a campaign to get our users onboarded. Within Engage, campaigns can be found on the left nav bar, and to create one, we simply click on the new campaign button here. Once we've created that campaign, First things first, let's give this campaign a title that lets anyone identify it. And as always, using descriptive names from the start will help when you have a lot more campaigns in the future. So have a think about naming conventions before you create tons of campaigns. Okay, now we'll set up our campaign goal, the entrance rules and the exit rules. The main goal of our campaign is to get users to create projects and add collaborators. But to add a collaborator, the user will have had to create a project first. So we'll actually set the campaign goal to collaborators added is greater than zero. That way we know if they've added a collaborator that they've also had to create a project to do that. We always recommend having a clear goal set for every campaign as it's a great way to really track its success. Next, we'll set the users who will actually enter and be included in this campaign. And to do this, we set the entrance rules. So for this campaign, we want to target brand new users who sign up after today, but we also want to target the people who A, haven't read our beginner's guide, B, haven't created any projects, and C, haven't added any collaborators to projects. So first, let's add a rule to target the people who signed up after today. Next, we'll add a rule for users where read beginner's guide is false, which means they haven't read our beginner's guide. To target the people who haven't created any projects, we'll set a rule for users whose project count is zero. And finally, we'll target the people who haven't added any collaborators, using collaborators added is zero. So anyone who matches all of these rules will enter this campaign. Now, we'll set the exit criteria. These rules ensure users leave the campaign if they've either completed all of the tasks or they've received all of the messages. So we'll add the rules that are basically the opposite of the entrance rules. So in the case of our red beginner's guide, we'll add a rule to target users where red beginner's guide is true. For created a project, we'll add a rule for users where project count is greater than zero, meaning they've created a project. And to target people who went on to add a collaborator, we'll add a rule for users where collaborators added is greater than zero. So that's it. We've configured the main components of our campaign. People will enter this campaign if they sign up after today, and they'll exit if they read our beginner's guide, create a project, and add a collaborator to one of those projects. In the next video, we'll start building the messages that will guide the users towards our overall goal of being considered onboarded. Try set up the beginnings of a campaign on your test environment and see how you get on.